Hi guys, it's Kira for Shakti Power Yoga. Today we are going to do a super gentle practice to wind you down for bed. And we're actually going to do it from our beds. So come find a mattress or, you know, if you have a twin bed, maybe find a space on the floor because you probably need a full bed. Um, but come join me and get cozy. Um, grab a blanket if you want to cover yourself up in some of these poses, but we're not going to use any other props. Um, come join me kneeling on your mattress. And we're going to start with hip circles. So we're going to spread our fingers wide, knees under the hips. On an inhale, we're going to take a half clockwise circle from back here, half clockwise up, inhale, and then exhale back down. And here we're really going to start focusing on a cooling breath, inhale up, exhale down. And cooling breath here means that we are um, narrowing the space between the inhale and the exhale so that they run right into each other just like this circle doesn't have a unique stopping point at the top. It's just a continuous flow of inhale, straight to exhale. So keep doing that. The breath will help wind you down for the night. This practice is great for if you have insomnia and you need some kind of activity to start winding you down for sleep that doesn't involve staring at a screen. Um, you know, you could glance up at me, but it's not the same thing. And then switch directions. But um, even if you don't have insomnia, if you just wanted to do yoga for the day and you forgot about it or ran out of time, um, this is a gentle way to get in some really feel-good stretches that are gentle and give your mind a chance to relax at the end of the day. Let's do two more. And then find your tabletop again, spreading the fingers. Knees square over the hips. And now we're just gonna take a few cat cow. So inhale, arch the spine, look up towards the ceiling. Exhale, round the spine, look back towards your knees. And again with this, we'll try not to make a distinct stopping point at the start and finish. It's a continuous flow. So inhale up as soon as you find your fullest expression, start winding back down. And find your way back towards center. Take your left knee and shoot it up towards the front of your mattress. And we'll take a low lunge. I'm going to work on the diagonal um, just to give myself a little bit more room. So a low lunge here, a really easy low lunge. We're staying down in the back leg. We're opening up through the right hip um, and the left Knee can go over the left ankle because we're not putting any weight on it, any pressure. Um, you want to keep that stacked when you're in like a high lunge. And then you can just bind the hands and put them on the knees and stretch out. Just because we're staying still now does not mean you can lose your breath, so stick with that, the gentle flow. You can keep the hip circle type movement where you picture, in your mind actually, picture a circle and an inhale on the way up, exhale on the way down and keep it as fluid as possible as you go around and maybe even um, towards the end of the practice you can start to slow down the circle from here hands come down you can tuck the right toes if it gives you a little bit more space to toe heel the left foot over towards the right side and take a pigeon pose Depending on your mattress, you may or may not have room to slide down to a sleepy pigeon. I can only go onto my elbows. I can't um, reach fully out. But if you have a king bed or you're a lot shorter than me, maybe you can. So find what's comfortable. If you don't have any room, just stay up here. Get another nice back bend in. That's a good practice as well.
sinking the hips down but keeping them even. Two more breaths. And walk yourself back up. Press into the right foot again. If that helps you, find your lunge again. But this time, we're going to walk our hands over in a clockwise direction until we find a side lunge. So in the side lunge, if you are more flexible, your left ankle um, can stretch out and your left heel can find the ground. Mine isn't fully on the mattress, so that's fine if it's raised. As long as you're feeling a calf stretch, that would be really good. And then you should also feel um, the inside of your right leg. Getting tall here. Excellent work. And now we're going to slide, instead of going up and down, we're sliding straight over to find our second side lunge. Sliding over this way. Now I'm stretching out my right calf. Again, I'm staying tall. If you need more, you can push your right hand um, against that right knee and bring it out more to the side. Toes on the left foot can be straight up towards the ceiling. Two more breaths. And now we're gonna keep on going clockwise until we find our low lunge on the second side. This will have our right leg forward. In our low lunge here, again, hands can come onto the top thigh. Stretching our left hip flexor and our right hamstring here. You can close your eyes and go internal to really focus on the breath, treating this like a meditation. The goal here for our practice, if we want to set an intention, is to fall asleep as quickly and gracefully as possible when this is over. Go ahead and come into your pigeon. I'm just going to climb over to this side of the bed so I'm not giving you that awful of an angle. Um, but yeah, your right um, calf can be parallel or any angle back towards 45 degrees. If it's angled back um, towards like your pubic bone, that's going to be um, the least stretch. So make it more parallel if you need more of a stretch. And then lower down when you're ready. We're trying to melt our chest down to the ground. Excellent work. Start to climb your way back up. We're just going to sit onto that right hip. Bring this foot back a little, and this left foot is going to come over towards the right side, setting up for a seated twist. So if you look like this with your legs, we want to bring opposite arm to the top leg. So my left leg is up, my right arm is up, and I'm twisting over towards the left. I chose to add twists, lots of twists to this practice because twists are really detoxing. So for the end of a night, um, in order to cleanse, it's really great to just detox from the day and go to bed as pure as possible. 
On an inhale, we're rising up, crown of the head, reaching up towards the ceiling. And then on the exhale, maybe we can twist a little deeper. Maybe we can look towards the back of the room. Great, come back through center. Straighten out the legs just so we can flip the sides. So now we want our right leg on top and then we can twist over towards the right. Binding with the left arm. Again, this is a nighttime practice. So maybe you can challenge yourself not to push your limits today. Maybe you can back a little bit off the edge and prove to yourself that you don't have to be so extreme. Maybe you can relax in this practice a little bit more than you do in a vinyasa flow. Crown of the head reaches towards the ceiling and then twist a little deeper on the exhale to look towards the back of the room. Keep breathing and then come back through center. Great job. Now we're going to set up for bound angle. I am going to come back towards the edge of my mat because we will be laying down afterwards. So I'm gonna take bound angle here. If this is uncomfortable for you because it could be a little bit more intense than a seated bound angle on a hard ground because your butt's gonna sink a little deeper. So if this is uncomfortable for you, um, bring the feet a little farther away from the body or prop pillows under your butt so that you can raise that a little bit to make it easier. But bring your legs wherever they're comfortable and then grab a hold of your feet. And now we'll take some neck rolls here. So moving in a clockwise direction first, as slow as you want or as fast as you want, pausing wherever you need it. And from here, I'm going to take my left leg and bring it out towards the side and come into Janu Shirsasana, knee to head pose. And then I'm going to change the sensation. I'll come up and I'll come and bring the right leg overhead into a side forward fold. You can look up towards the ceiling, more towards that top arm in this. And back up through center. Take the second side. Left foot comes in, right leg comes out. First, that straight one, knee and nose are trying to meet. Two more breaths. Can you melt the chest forward a little bit more? And then come up. And now we're facing the front. So we're facing kind of away from the toes. Excellent work, come back through center. Now we're gonna grab some pillows. So I'm going to take reclined bound angle. I'm actually gonna use two pillows for this because I really like um, feeling my chest opening in that way. 
So stack pillows or just take one. Um, if you haven't done this before, take one to start. I'm coming into pound angle. But then I'm just lowering down onto the pillows, arms coming out to the sides, and you'll feel it in your chest and in your pecs. Arms can tee here if you want that intense pec stretch, or they can come down to the side if you just want the rounding in the spine without the opening up through the chest. So here to just round out that spine, and here to add the chest as well. Here we're really winding down our practice, so really be focusing on the breath and trying to slow it down a little bit. Calming breath has an exhale that's longer than an inhale, so if you inhale to a count of four, try to just start by exhaling to a count of six, and then maybe it winds its way um, to an eight count. Whatever you do, don't really push it because that defeats the purpose. But if you can relax that exhale and kind of um, slow that part, that would be helpful. And now we're going to remove the pillows, come back onto your mat or onto the mattress on your back. And we're just going to take our knees in and gentle twist them over to one side. Face your head in the opposite direction of your knees. It doesn't matter which side you did first. This feels so great supported by the mattress. And then bring the knees over to the opposite side. Take your second supine twist. I hope you feel ready for sleep now. Um, I'm not going to take Shavasana with you. Um, corpse pose. Come back through center and take happy baby. Grab a hold of the feet. Um, the reason I'm not adding corpse pose here is because I don't want you guys playing a video and then having to come out of corpse pose and turn the video off. Um, I would rather you just take a really nice corpse pose as you drift to sleep. So when you turn off this video in a second, I want you to feel like you're going into Shavasana. Really activate through, like spread your spine as long as possible. Let your feet splay out to the sides, lay on your back, and just relax there. Even if you can't fall asleep on your back, just give me a minute there before you go to sleep. Um, and just let your mind empty and let you your body really incorporate all the work we did today. So we're all going to turn off the video and find Shavasana now before we drift off to sleep. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Um, good night, sweet dreams. Namaste.